There are a few major types of wetlands, ponds, marshes, peat bogs, but today it's all about swamps and all their glory or all their gory. We'll explain. These critical ecosystems help moderate flooding, absorbing excess water, and they protect our communities from storm surges. They also help purify water. I've never seen this behavior before. Filter waste and chemicals and clean up the environment. It's no wonder some pretty astounding stuff is found in them. What you're thinking, but more. Take a look. 15 shocking things recently discovered in swamps. Number 15. Louisiana Sinkhole A sinkhole is exactly what it sounds like, a hole that opens up in the earth usually caused by natural causes. But it's not the only reason sinkholes happen, and it's not just the surface water that can disappear. Everything above the sinkhole can with it, as you're about to see. In Louisiana, in the United States, an underwater sinkhole near the community of Bayou Corn devoured pretty much everything above it. The problem first came to the attention of authorities a week before when residents noticed bubbles in the water and experienced shaking on land. So emergency workers were filming on site when the sinkhole got very real. It doesn't take long to escalate. It quickly grew to over 300 feet in diameter and reached as deep as 422 feet. Beneath much of the state of Louisiana, including these bayous, are salt domes, gigantic deposits left during the formation of the North American continent. These domes vary mildly in scale and depth, some as much as 35,000 feet below the surface and as large as Mount Everest. With such depths and dimensions, these domes are naturally under thousands of pounds of pressure per square inch. So a sinkhole like this can drain a swamp like a bathtub easily. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. What they discovered in this swamp has left people speechless. Why? An animal taking a drink of water isn't that impressive, but a blue mystery creature, that'll shut anybody up. And why is it bright blue? Differences in skin color among individuals is caused by variation in pigmentation, which is the result of genetics, exposure to the sun, natural and sexual selection, or all of these. In humans, there are rare skin conditions that can happen if certain chemicals like silver build up in your body over a long time. It can turn your skin, eyes, internal organs, nails, and gums blue. So maybe this thirsty animal has some sort of weird condition as the result of exposure to something in the water. Or this is some sort of thirsty mythical beast in a swamp. The blue color is often depicted in mythology. It's the color of the sky and the oceans and holds an important place in depictions. In different countries, the color blue became associated with certain mythical entities. Sometimes these depictions showed the mythical figures as powerful and benevolent. And at other times, scary monsters were colored blue. Thoughts? Use the hashtag open discussion in the comments. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Skunk Ape. A mysterious figure was recently caught on camera in marshlands outside of Tampa, Florida. The person who filmed it had initially believed the creature to be a bear, but was later told by a park ranger that bears generally keep away from the swamp. Recorded in a 240-acre region consisting of extensive swampland and hardwood forest, the footage shows an unidentified creature slowly making its way through the water in the background. The figure is difficult to make out in detail, but does appear to be humanoid in shape. Much like the mythical Bigfoot, could it be Florida's much-reported but never identified skunk ape? Ever heard of it? The swamp Sasquatch, known as the Florida Skunk Ape, is about 6 foot 6, 450 pounds, and hairy, a smelly ape that roams the Everglades, or so believers say. Articles have been presented in an attempt to prove its existence, including anecdotal sightings, disputed photographs, audio and video recordings, and footprints. However, the majority of mainstream scientists have historically discounted its existence, considering it to be the result of a combination of folklore, misidentification, and hoax, rather than a living animal. But this footage is pretty convincing. Number 13. Carnivorous Bog Plants What plant eats meat and lives in a bog? The sundew plant. They make up one of the largest groups of carnivorous plants. They're flypaper plants that, as you can see, trap prey in long, hair-like tentacles protruding from their leaves. 
each with a sticky gland at the tip. But it's a trick. The glands produce nectar to attract prey, powerful adhesive enough to trap it and enzymes to digest it. Sundew's spoon-shaped leaves respond to touch. The head of each gland is covered with a sticky secretion that's acidic and enzymatic and does not evaporate. But to prey, these droplets look like dew glistening in the sun. Insects may mistake the glistening leaves for nectar or may be caught because they blunder onto the leaves by chance. When an insect is trapped by a sundew tentacle, the movements, which are electrically signaled, cause other tentacles to bend towards it and within minutes there's no escape for the insect. It's literally a swamp. The prey caught includes small flies, midges, beetles and ants, although larger prey such as damselflies can also become trapped by several leaves simultaneously. The plants benefit by absorbing mineral nutrients from their prey, especially nitrogen and phosphorus which are in short supply in bogs. Number 12. Shipwreck The discovery of the remains of this boat in Alabama over 160 years after it sank brings new life and interest to the settlement built by its original survivors. In 1860, the schooner Clotilda brought 110 Africans to U.S. shores, decades after it was illegal to import slaves into the country, 50 years after the American slave trade was outlawed, in fact, so the wealthy perpetrators could escape prosecution, and the ship was destroyed, burned on arrival to hide evidence of the crime. Despite numerous efforts to find the sunken wreck, Clotilda remained hidden for the next 160 years but in 2019, it was believed that this important historical artifact was found. The missing puzzle piece is a painful mystery. Against all odds, Africatown, the Alabama community founded by the captives of the ship, prospered in the Jim Crow South, so this discovery is an informative reminder about their communities. The descendants of those transported into slavery, the descendants of their fellow Africans who sold them, and then the descendants of their African enslavers. So. Recently, when during a freakishly low tide, a local reporter discovered a hefty chunk of a shipwreck in the Mobile River, the discovery reignited interest and it was finally announced that the elusive Clotilda had at long last been discovered. Number 11. Lost Nuclear Bomb In February 1958, after a mid-air collision, a 7600 nuclear bomb was lost in the waters off Tybee Island near Savannah in Georgia. At the time, a plane carrying the bomb was on a simulated combat mission from Florida. The simulation included a number of fighter aircraft. One of these fighter planes failed to spot the bomber on the radar, and they collided at 38,000 feet. The bomber managed to remain airborne, but worried the bomb would break loose on landing and that the plane was too heavy to make it back safely. The crew jettisoned their bomb payload to help save the plane. They were thinking they could prevent accidental detonation should the aircraft crash. The bomb was released here into the waters off Tybee Island. But where is it? The bomb, which has unknown quantities of radioactive material, has never been found. And while the authorities have suggested the bomb, if left undisturbed, poses no threat to the area, bomb hunters and residents aren't so sure. There's a nuclear bomb just sitting in seawater near their homes after all. Understandable. But environmental surveillance has not discovered any elevated radioactivity for the area above natural levels for now. Number 10. Trapped in Swamp Talk about a close call. This man named Andrew Miller was trapped for five hours in a boggy dam with just his eyes and nose above the waterline. Just imagine what was going through his mind the whole time. Hope it doesn't rain or there better not be crocodiles. All the things. He was working in an excavator at the site in Charlotte Bay in New South Wales, Australia, when it slipped and tumbled into the dam. Describing his experience, Miller said he was determined to make it for his family. He was trapped with the weight of the excavator on his back and with the boggy dam ground below him slowly slipping away. He was left trapped beneath the three and a half ton vehicle for hours before a neighbor heard his cries for help. How did he manage to scream for help? Firefighters had to pump water out of the dam before they could free him from the mud and said if it had rained while he was trapped, he could have drowned. How he kept his back arched with his nose above the waterline was quite incredible for the amount of time. The lucky man stuck in the dam was taken by helicopter to a hospital in the nearby city of Newcastle, where he was treated for hypothermia and minor back issues. Number 9. Creepy Abandoned Lodge An abandoned lodge in the middle of a swamp. Surely this wasn't someone's home once, or was it? And why is nobody here? 
As two urban explorers access it, the first thing you notice is the bridge leading up to the house suspended above a swamp. And once you're up to the window and peer through the glass past the curtains, you realize this place is furnished too. There's even a stuffed rodent. This kind of exploration, known as urbex for short, is the exploration of man-made structures, usually abandoned ruins or hidden components of the man-made environment. And as you can see, it can sometimes involve trespassing onto private property. Although the location of this creepy abandoned swamp house is unclear, and we have no idea if these explorers are actually trespassing, it certainly tells a story. As the video host moves through the property, you can see just how quaint it is, complete with a little living room with a few chairs. There's a functioning kitchen that appears to have been used recently. There's a bathroom, of course, so clearly whoever was occupying this place took time to make sure it had all the amenities. And there's even an office. Whether or not this swamp home has Wi-Fi, we don't know. Number 8. Gigantic Python Well, this escalated quickly. The video starts out with some fellas racing through some jungle near some water reservoirs. We discover that one of them has found a gigantic python. And not just one, but two. These brave gentlemen now have to remove both of them. And things did not go as planned, as you can see. Pythons are non-venomous snakes found in Asia, Africa, and Australia. But just because they lack venom, that doesn't mean they can't kill you. And because they're such good swimmers, they can kill you on land and in water. Most pythons are large snakes, such as the reticulated python, which can grow to over 30 feet in length. So when you have a snake problem, don't do what these guys did. Call a snake expert or animal rescue. Regardless of length, these snakes have sharp, backward-curving teeth that they use to grab prey. And when they get big enough, they can and will swallow a human whole, only after they suffocate them first. Although they stay in relatively warm, wet climates, as humans have developed python habitats, these snakes have become accustomed to sheltering in urban areas like this. And more than once in this video, these men get caught up in a dangerous situation trying to successfully remove them. Number 7. Ancient Warrior Army In the wetlands in East Jutland, Denmark, excavators have recently uncovered the remains of hundreds of warriors who died violently about 2,000 years ago. They found damaged human bones along with axes, spears, clubs, and shields. Over the years, human bones have turned up periodically in the area. This region has been a focal point of archaeological study since human remains were first discovered there in the 1950s. But this excavation really kicked off when archaeologists found scattered bones lying under the 6.6 .6 feet of peat on an old lake bed. So what happened? The latest finds have fascinated researchers who believe a dramatic society-changing event caused the mass sacrifice of a large army at the site. The work of geologists indicates the bodies were deposited in a small basin of a lake, which became the modern-day bog we see today. Their analysis indicates that the water level has changed several times. It's believed the bog was commonly used for sacrifice during the Iron Age, but the latest discovery suggests a mystery of truly biblical proportions. Whether it will be solved definitely is uncertain. Researchers also hope to recreate the general outlines of the events that took place at the site by performing smaller digs across the bog and reconstructing the ancient landscape. Number 6. Swimming with Crocs What is wrong with this guy? He voluntarily gets in the water with a crocodile, like it's no big deal. Does he have a death wish? Crocs are fierce, cold-blooded predators. They may not be dinosaurs, but they sure do have supremacy over other animals, humans included. On average, it's believed that crocodiles kill as many as a thousand people per year around the world. That's more than sharks. However, during the largest crocodile attack in human history, somewhere between 500 and 900 people were eaten by these creatures in the span of a few days. Human prey is drowned in death rows or torn to pieces. These massive reptiles can reach over 20 feet in length weigh 2,000 pounds and have an immensely powerful bite. So why this guy is in the water with one, we'll never know. In the TikTok video, you can hear people on the boat responding in shock to the sudden plunge. But the croc stays remarkably calm. The man even lifts the reptile out of the water for a weird hugging moment. We're guessing that this croc swimming man is the tour guide from the reptile tour and because he feeds these beasts on a daily basis, they don't attack. But that's just a guess. Even the most experienced crocodile expert should probably not risk this. Number 5. Snapping Turtle Turtles might look cute, 
but snapper turtles in particular have a lot of attitude. They're freshwater turtle native to North America. There are two species of snapping turtles, the common snapping turtle and the alligator snapping turtle, and it can grow shells up to 20 inches long. They also have mouths that resemble a bird's hooked beak. Snapping turtle jaw strength is something else too. Their sharp beaks are well designed for a major league shearing. An alligator snapping turtle's beak is capable of slicing fingers clean off. Not impressed yet? Consider the following. It's often said that an adult can bite a wooden broom handle in half. While most animals have specific things that they eat, the snapping turtle isn't in any way selective of what goes down its mouth. It eats anything it can get its jaws around. The snapping turtle can eat invertebrates, fish, birds, small mammals, and amphibians. It also eats algae and has a large appetite for aquatic vegetation. The reason for this though is their habitat. Since they live in fresh or brackish water, the vegetation available falls victim to its widely acceptable appetite. But don't worry, if given the choice, snapping turtles almost always distance themselves from humans. Number 4. Swamp Dolls – More Scary Dolls Why do these toys that are intended to bring joy always end up in the most random places? 21 dolls on bamboo stakes were mysteriously found in an Alabama swamp. Local sheriff's deputies traveled into Bear Creek Swamp recently to recover the dolls. I noticed the dolls several weeks ago while driving through the swamp working on a stolen vehicle report, said the chief deputy at the time. I just thought they were a Halloween prank and really didn't give it much thought after that. That was until social media blew up about the dolls and the office got wind of people's concerns. So deputies got in a canoe, paddled around for about 30 minutes and recovered them. The majority of the dolls are porcelain and have the appearance of antiques. Many had their faces and hair covered in what looked like white spray paint. No wonder people were concerned. Bear Creek Swamp is a massive bog with a bit of a reputation locally. Generations of teenagers have entered the area at night looking for creatures and angry spirits said to roam the mist-covered realm. And it's not unusual to hear reports of loud booms coming from its depths. That reputation is likely a reason why the locals were abuzz about the doll discovery. Number 3. Ancient Cheese You'll be amazed at how seriously people take their cheese, but did you know that people have been eating that stuff for thousands of years? It's true, and recently a man found a 22-pound lump of it that was buried in a bog for 2,000 years, and it's still edible. So what's the deal with this ancient cheese known as bog butter? The cheese chunks looked like dairy, but they also had a rank smell. Described as a not nice mingling of Parmesan cheese, baby vomit, and rancid milk. Yet several hundred waxy chunks have been plucked from rivers and swamps where they spend as many as 3,500 years stuffed inside wooden containers. Swaddled in bark or wrapped in animal bladders, some weigh as much as 50 pounds and they resemble greasy souffles or sweating cheese balls. Based on the specific fatty acids they found, the researchers concluded that 91% of the samples they found either definitely or probably derived from dairy fat. The samples stretched across the Bronze Age, Iron Age, and Medieval period, as well as the Irish post-medieval period, which spanned 1550 to 1850. In the era before refrigeration, the densely packed places these ancient cheeses were found helped them to survive till today. Number 2. Abandoned Zoo Over time, many of America's once popular locations have been slowly reclaimed by nature. Abandoned and left to decay, this is one of those places. The little zoo was part of an 800-acre preserve called Shade Swamp Sanctuary in Connecticut, which started out as a wildlife rehabilitation center in the 1930s. After just a short walk down a narrow trail through the woods, there it is. The ruins of this sanctuary are eerie and unsettling. Despite being left in the forest for over 50 years, it's surprising how many of these animal cages are still intact. But nature has definitely taken course here. Created by the Connecticut Department of Fish and Game, this roadside wildlife attraction housed many creatures. Injured birds and four-legged mammals lived here until they were rehabilitated and able to be released into the wild. The meadow enclosures are covered in rust. Many have a stone formation at the end that served as a den for the animals who once lived here. It's so dilapidated now that it's difficult to imagine this sanctuary in a working state. 
Hundreds of people pass by this wooden structure daily. What many don't realize is that less than 50 yards away, right in the woods, are its creepy remains. Number 1. Shigir Idol This ancient idol was made shortly after the end of the last ice age. It's also twice as old as the Egyptian pyramids, which date to roughly 4,500 years ago. The rare artwork even predates 5,000-year-old Stonehenge by more than 7,000 years. This 9-foot-tall totem pole, composed of 10 wooden fragments carved with elaborate faces and limbs and decorated with geometric patterns, represent the oldest known surviving work of wooden ritual art in the world. Prospectors discovered the idol in Russia's Ural Mountain Range in 1890. The sculpture was discovered at a depth of 13 feet in the peat bog of Shigir. Investigations in this area had begun earlier, after the discovery of a variety of prehistoric objects in a gold mine, but nothing like this. Its ancient creators carved the work from a single large tree with 159 growth rings. That's how you can tell how old a tree is. The wood it was carved from is approximately 12,000 years old. All this at the bottom of a bog. The idol was carved during an era of great climate change, when early forests were spreading after the Ice Age. The landscape changed, and the art did too, perhaps as a way to help people come to grips with the challenging environments they encountered. So before you visit your local swamp or some mystery wetlands you come across in your travels, think twice. These mysterious places are holding to more shocking secrets than you probably imagined. 